getting suck noises up in that microphone. Ah, there we go. That's oh, that sounds worse than something. I how unusual. It's for Illuminati. I don't think there are any students here with the name that starts with I. Not one. Nope, not, not a one. single Irvin or Irwing or. Nope. It's like well, we do have an Irwing, but it's more like an Irwing. Irwing. Meet me at the motel oh, you at to nine. Show all this stuff. The Lakeside Motel. What's this about? I don't know. Then okay. immediately take it as a proposition. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're done. Back to Emma's house. For the most important part. Okay. Maybe, up today. What time do I have to be at Emma's house? 2.30. 2.30? Okay, we got an hour. Uh, you may as well get there at 2 because stuff happens at 2 as well. Oh, okay. But it's, uh... Nothing you interact with, but we might you might see some shit if you, you get there early enough. Cars buried in the snow. No, right? Yeah, we've learned our lesson from last time. <laughs> Fucking save states. Bunch of save states. As many... Every time you, you see the head of schedule, I'm just gonna go... Whoop! It's a good idea. Wow! Oh my god. Come into the park and just immediately went and sidled over to the police station instead. Mm -hmm. She's got some stuff going on, man. Kind of stuff. Important stuff, I guess. We well, the there's station. Winona again. Oh. Bye. Bye. Just loves walking around town. It's a good way to clear your head, though. I guess so. Go for it. I don't have a whole lot of time to, so when I get that kind of exercise, I'm usually, I usually head to the garage and hit the treadmill. Walks are pretty tight. I used to go on the Oh yeah, you gotta worry about gas in this game. Yep. Uh, although I think most nights you'll probably be able to just get some right before bed. Probably use almost a full tank. All right, got y'all, oh, man. You got here. quick. Damn. Got Damn. 20 minutes. Get good at this. Steel mills. <laughs> yeah. Can I cut its brake line? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will do that. Oh, uh, don't enter the house. Don't even attempt. Until 2? Until 2.30. Yeah. But we might see some stuff too. You made it faster than I thought. You made it way faster than I thought you would. Okay. Uh, so shit happens at 2.30. Yeah, in fact, since you're so far ahead. I'll do that one more time since you're made it here. All right. I guess you can explore the neighborhood a little bit. I would try before, but you can't really get in anywhere, but... Yeah, there's nothing to really do. you'll find more mysterious oh, uh, phone numbers. Someone's or... going into Emma's house. Oh, who's that? It's a person. <gasps> Who is that? Can I chat with you, you before you enter? Good afternoon. Don't get in the way of my work. Who are you? What? what what's your work? You're just standing in front of the door. Okay. <laughs> I was about to come up with some fucking bullshit to talk about for a couple minutes, but oh uh, we got some. Oh, are you? Look at the car. Look at the car. Yeah, layers. Layer. You got. You got to get some stuff. Things gotta be a little weird to get your layers working <laughs> to have a whole ass open world on Good your, your PlayStation. Good afternoon. Don't get in the way of my work. Just gonna open your door. Oh in. my god. <laughs> Bye. Glorious. You Bye. proselytizing? You came just to Emma's place. He went up to the door and stood there and walked away. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting to, to happen. Yeah. Um, I was expecting something else to happen. Uh, which should be happening. Oh, there, there's... There he, there he go. Mel. There he is. He came the long way around, huh? Maybe there's only a long way around. That's because he snuck up the side of their house. You sneaky bastard. You what fucker. What are you doing in Emma's house? Or at Emma's house? Why'd you park here if you're not? Just leave me alone, man. can't do anything with him, really, though. That piece of shit kills you in a bar fight if you lose. <laughs> yeah, it's a game over! <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> it's like, nope. We 
can't just continue the scene and be like, you stupid motherfucker, I'm out of here. No, yeah. it's just game over. I, I, presumably dead. He just murders you in the bar. <laughs> he punches you wrong and you fall over and die, I guess. I like the first episode <laughs> of Andor, yeah. Hey, it's the first episode. I didn't spoil shit. It's like I the whole inside it. incident. It's not a spoiler. Yeah. All right. It's almost time. Time to hydrate. Hydration. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? I can do 90 degree this? turns. Are you quick, tur quick turning? With the trigger. Instead of 180, they're 90 degrees. 90 degree. But this isn't a dungeon crawler. <laughs> Why do you have 90 degree turns? That's going to make it a lot easier to get to doors. Oh my god. I suppose. Look at the JPEG. Oh, there's like, layering a, a single over. texture that's overlapping. Yeah. Well, Mr. Palmer's home. Hello, Mr. Palmer. It's Robert, right? His name is Robert Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert. Leland. Emma. Yeah. Emma. Ro well, it is. I think it is Robert in this game. Robert. Steve. Um, it's Steve? Fuck, yep. who's Robert? There's a Robert, isn't there? I don't another, think so. Another adult man? No? All right, we're about to hit 2.30. I thought there was a Robert. I knock. Steve Barton? Oh, Barton, maybe Barton? Barton Steve. You're right. Or no, Steve. this is Steve. Steve. Hey, Matthew, Matthew what's, up? what's up? Anyway, just come on in. This is part where uh, Sarah freaks the fuck out. <laughs> Matthew, can I speak to you for a moment? Sure. I'm just gonna go look at Emma's room. Oh, I guess that's you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just vaguely remember screaming at Sarah last time, so I'm like, I think I was taking Sarah. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks to you, Sarah's doing much better. Yeah, she does seem to be. Still, I'm concerned about her refusing to leave the house. Excuse me for changing the subject, but do you know Kathy? I'd seen her at church, but never spoke to her. I can't say I knew her, really. You think she and Emma were acquainted? Who knows? I never saw the two of them together. I'm sure Emma would have mentioned it if either me or Winona knew they knew each other. I see. But you know, I have seen that boy Mel with Kathy before. Mel? Where? In front of the bar. Everything comes back uh, to the bar. I was surprised, to be honest. She didn't seem like the kind of girl to play around at night. That's true. I'll sober. Now that I think about it, maybe Emma and Kathy weren't all that different. <laughs> Sarah! Somebody smudged her spotless white room. <laughs> There's fucking grease. All over the house. Wait, the police are here already? Yes. Are you alright? Yes. I think I've calmed down now. Thank you. Winona's here too! Yep. What are you doing here, Winona? There's Morgan. There's no sign of anyone breaking into Emma's room. I uh, see. It's possible the stress over Emma has gotten to her. You should talk to your wife. I will. I'm going back to the department. Call me if anything comes up. Alright, thank you. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. You said there's been a break in. Well, I, I didn't see the burglar or anything, but I could sense someone's presence in Emma's room. You sensed it? That, and the window was open a little, too. I happen to know Mel was there because he just fucking come in, came <laughs> out of your back of your house. Is anything missing? But I don't know. Emma hated going in her room. We don't really know what it's like in there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we, Emma oh, hated going. <laughs> so, so. Emma hated going in her room. <laughs> she didn't like the this Norwegian minimalist aesthetic we made. <laughs> room with it being pure white, just a bed. Can I take a look? Yeah, I'll, I'll go, go with, with you. you. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back to Emma's room, I guess. Uh, to Emma's room. You want to come with us, Winona? A burglar? How frightening! Does it have something to do with Emma? Why are you here? She I know you're. Heard important. the scream from the sheriff's office. <laughs> she was, I guess, her constitutional brought her nearby. Mm -hmm. Maybe she chased the the police sirens, <laughs> <laughs> just sprinting up to the the fancy neighborhood. Stan's coming to check up on Sarah. Alright, I'm looking for motorcycle grease. <laughs> yep, there was. Now what? This desk. Sarah wasn't... This desk... Uh, Sarah, wasn't this desk closed before? You're right. I'm sure it was closed. Is anything missing? Shunk. It's empty. Matthew, that drawer. That drawer is usually always locked. What's kept in it? Her diary. I tried to open it one time and Emma blew up at me. Well, yeah, it's her diary. So her diary's missing. We should discuss this with Morgan. You're right, but why take her diary? Sounds like there's a... Uh... Some shit Probably in there. Some, uh... I'm sorry, I'm worried you. I'm, I'm fine now. All right. All right, very important. Mm -hmm. There is a lady in gray outside the house. Oh, yeah, okay. You need to talk to that lady. We need to do all this optional shit before your next appointment. Any more talking to people? Uh, in here? No, I don't think so. Burglar, how frightening. Oh, here we go. I heard at the police station that Mel saw Emma around 10 o'clock. Really? So she snuck out of the house without us noticing? I guess so. Can't believe she would do that. Hmm? What? Hmm? Right. What? You've <laughs> exhausted them, and Sarah's still following you around like a lost puppy. I guess he'll see you out. <laughs> oh, there's Morgan. She's just standing there. What are you doing, Morgan? Indeed, what is he doing? You're not the person I meant to talk to out here. There should be some oh, there's people outside the fence. There we go. Is that the guy who was working earlier? I heard there was a breaking at the Rowland, Rollins. Yes. And the one Mr. Perry spoke about might be the culprit. Huh? Old man Perry was saying that he saw someone suspicious climbing out of the Rollins' second floor window. Really? Well, old man Perry does say some crazy things sometimes. Where does Mr. Perry live? Just behind the Rollins. But he usually spends his time at the park. All right, burglary from Mary's house. This town's gone with the dogs. Uh, so you got your rubberneckers here. Yep. Uh, you need to go to Riverside Park. Okay, to the park. And the high school. And then the, the high next, school. The next uh, note of a time is 550 Haynes Diner. Mandatory. 550? Yes. Okay. Don't go inside until after 5.30. Okay. 5.30 hangs down here, I guess. Just gonna head to the park here. Then the school. <clears throat> and the diner. Yep. That seems to be the thing. That seems to be the plan. Noom! I'm going. Oh, we are. Yes. We'll get a good game forward. without this fucking guide. <laughs> well, a chunk of this is optional. Uh, 
true. I'm not sure why you would go back to the high school, though, uh, naturally, uh, at this point. Some of the things I can see a bit of a roleplay reason for, but it's a bit of a stretch for this one. Yeah. Unless when no it was like, let's go deal with the locker now, but you're not. So, uh, I don't know. Or maybe this is to give you more free time in later days and there's stuff that isn't. I guess so. Oh my god, I was layered in front of those cars. That was weird. You sure were. Someone very special. Traverse Cole. Not this guy. Oh, it's Bucket Hat Man. Excuse me, Mr. Perry? Are you Mr. Perry? Say what? Are you Old Man Perry? Yes, I'm Old Man Perry. I heard you saw someone suspicious leaving the Rollins. Oh, you saw him too? I did. I didn't, but do you remember what he looked like? Yes, I remember well. So? Mm, he was dressed like someone I saw in a movie once saw. James Dean? <laughs> what was it called? You know, the one with the killer? Wore a mask? Halloween? Hockey mask. A hockey mask? I've seen that one. It's a classic. He yeah, looked like yeah, Jason. Jason. He was dressed like him, wasn't he? I just said I didn't see him. Jason must live at the Rollins. Huh. I've seen Jason's motorbike outside the diner many times. Huh? How nice. This is no good. This old guy's off in his own little world. Congratulations. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Shawnee. Merry Christmas was yesterday. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Shawnee. I'm useless. I wish I was stronger. What? He's on a shonen adventure, man. He's going through his training arc. Alright, cool. Good for him. Uh, next. I'll There's probably no find place. him later. I mean, maybe. <laughs> we did. <laughs> uh, we have established there is a fighting minigame. Like a 2D plane. Oh, fucking yeah. Fucking with life bars. Straight up bad fighting minigame. Yep. It's time to go to school. Uh, you've got, uh, it's just around the corner, pretty much. It's, yeah, it's yeah school's right so over here. Right over there. We should have plenty of time to get to the diner. Time. Don't go in again until it's perfect timing. Library? Uh, I assume, so I don't think you can open any other door. Oh, I'm stuck in the fucking light post. There should be a poster to check. I might have to check it multiple times. Bulletin board. Uh, not that one. It's uh, wherever the teacher's room is, I guess. Oh. I don't know if that's the staff room or some different uh, terminology from earlier, so. I don't know, man. Staff Just room's over to... here. Party party community volunteers there you calls. go. Circle, circle, X squared. Let's see if we can hit someone up. I think you need that for later, but it would be nice if you have it in your phone book now. So I have to remember your book. Oh. No one's picking up. Damn it. All right, well, circle, circle, X squared. Try to remember. And go into the room. I think I got it in my head. Uh, there should be someone to talk to. Possibly someone new? A new person. Okay. At least I don't remember meeting them before. We might have met them in passing. You? You're not. Miss Holly? Are you Kathy's home oh, you were teacher? The funeral, huh? Yes, and who are you? I'm Matthew Williams. 
I'd like to ask you some questions about Kathy, if that's all right. Oh my, I didn't know Kathy had a boyfriend like you. My my, well... Uh, yeah, what kind of girl was Kathy? I'm not sure she had anyone you could call a friend. I never once saw her talking happily with anyone. So she wasn't good at being social? Yes, but it's not like she was just shy. She seemed to deliberately distance herself. She was, like, purposely cold. I tried to talk to her and told her she ought to try making some friends, that being with others is fun. And you know what she said? I have the Lord and my Father. That's kind of creepy. And not healthy at all. But her words didn't strike me as genuine. I think she was deceiving herself on some level. So Kathy was always alone at school? Usually, but one day she joined the Full Moon Party Planning Committee out of the blue. The party that was held back at the start of December? I was shocked too, but of course I was all for it. So the group go- so did that go well for Kathy? Who knows? She ended up quitting soon after. After that, she was no different. Not that she would have been. I wonder what possessed her to do such a- to do that. Such a mysterious girl. I see. Find anything out, please let me know. Now call the planning committee. What was it? Uh, circle, circle, X, uh, square X? I believe. I hope. Probably. Maybe. Damn. I guess X square. My bad. It's gotta be the, one of those two comp. It's definitely circle, circle, right? So. I don't know. <laughs> I've forgotten it. Completely out of mind. Yeah! Hello, who's calling? Uh, did you work on the dance party committee? Dance party? The one we had earlier this month? Sure I did. Just out of interest, was Kathy also part of the committee? Kathy Flannery? Yeah, she joined, but she wasn't very cooperative. How'd she seem to you at the time? Are you her friend? Uh, sure. She joined, but she basically did nothing. When I asked her why she bothered to join, guess what she said? I'm rebelling against my father. What does that mean? I don't know either, but she said something like a party celebrating the full moon is like worshipping the devil. Or something. Uh, what a weirdo. Uh, but she also said there's a wall painting in the basement of her house showing the devil worshipping the full moon. What the hell? Anyway, she was tough to figure out. That's all I remember about her. Thanks. See ya. <laughs> so that's how you find out about the basement. Okay. There's a devil worshipping a full moon. Oh no! A mural. Father with the Bart devil. worships the devil. <laughs> okay. Diner. Diner time. But uh, you might have a little time because you're not that far, are you? You just kind of head north from here, right? So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very important. Don't go inside until uh. 5.30, you'll see important characters enter. Who's that? Who you I think that was the number. Oh, the diner? No, for uh, Holden. Oh, Holden's. I'm not home right now. It didn't show up on the log, so... Yeah, 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 trying to get a hold of them at some point. Before I forget the number. Square triangle, square triangle. Square triangle, square triangle. Square triangle. Now that I've said it three times, I will remember for you. Until... Okay the next recording session <laughs> two weeks from <laughs> until now, we forget I just yeah. have no idea what's going on anymore hopefully quite be then I'll figure it out though so yeah oh um, yeah. man what are you gonna do for uh 25 minutes visit my dog oh that's a great plan Too bad you can't take a 45 minute nap. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. I've been driving all over town. I've been racing against the clock. Adorable pupper. No letters right now. I just gotta. Mysterious letter man did not come by. You're about to get more phone numbers you may not be able to use. <laughs> Jacket's coming off. Oh, oh, it's getting oh, hot in here. Car. Oh, you're gonna get run over by your own car. All right, you're good. It only it only pushed close to you. Um, 
Yeah, he's taking off his jacket, folks. It's, it's off. It's off now. Yep. It's, it's too warm. Oh, Even though too it's warm. pretty cold. But we got a bunch of lights. Oh, it's fucking empty. I probably oh, could have got the, the lighter here, you? too. You should be open by now. I don't know what you the want fuck another he's break? doing. Probably. Does, does he have a smoke break? Nas, do you smoke? I guess he does. That's why I know you can't. You better not. My lungs ain't so good. I had something to do at nine today, right? Uh, at night? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Pretty but sure that's the motel. No. No? No. Mm. There's no motel trips today. Okay. You'll be going back to the cemetery at nine. That's right. He did say it was the cemetery over the phone. Okay. Who said the cemetery? Mel, with the phone call when we were hiding in his closet. Oh, that. Co yeah, okay. I'm like, you, I know you have the 9 p.m. motel uh, letter, but I assume that reference is something that happened in the past. Since everyone's like, what was he, what was he doing in the motel? Huh? Look at this. <gasps> Diner's getting packed. He was cheating on his girlfriend. Don't you dare enter. Oh, I'm you not allowed to go in. Game. I have to wait. I'm forced <laughs> to wait here. Um, I mean, maybe that early it might work, but, uh, but yeah, it, you, you might be able to screw up the, like, mandatory event <laughs> mm -hmm. by just entering too close to the event time. Don't worry, Matthew. You'll know your cue. It'll be real obvious, Matthew. He's so on top of the... Uh, there he Ooh. goes, Winona! Winona! Hey, Winona, what's up? What I are you doing? saw you from across the street. This is the perfect time to come chat you up. Oh, Poor man. Sarah. I wonder who the burglar is. With the same dialogue. Goodbye! Alright, bye, Winona. Winona. Guess that was uh, all you had to say. Just oh my god. You've entered community place. Uh, oh. Mm. Uh. Will you buy this property? Ugh. Oh, look. Or are you gonna put it up for bid? Put it up for bid. I don't need to. Alright, it's time. Points. It's about time. Okay. Might need to wait a moment. Uh, I don't see. I don't see the important thing. Well. Guess give it a shot. I don't see people that are supposed to be here, but it's after 5.30, so... Hello, Bill. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Not 5... Okay, okay. He's going he's to the diner. He's you got running. a problem with that? <laughs> I do. I have a problem with you existing. Good. He's, he's just running a little late. Okay. Okay, he's in. And is he in? in? All right, should be okay now. Hopefully. Goodbye, vehicles. Except for Mel's uh, motorcycle. Yeah. Hey, that's impossible. Are you crazy? It's the only option. What are you thinking? I never thought you'd ask me to do something like this. I'll come back later. Just think about what I said. Mel has left the chat. No, it's nothing. Whatever he asked you for, it's dumb. Don't do it. Just being his usual charming self, eh? Well, here she goes. Back to work. So that's the mandatory portion, but uh, you could talk to her, obviously, and talk to the booth people. And you'll get some I stuff. heard there was a break in at Emma's. Oh, I guess I should. Okay. I was I was reading about yeah. the guy. So. Was anything taken? I don't know for sure, but Sarah said Emma's diary was missing. Emma's diary? Who'd steal something like that? Mel. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, but I think it might be connected to her disappearance. You like a bite to eat? What can I get you? A coffee. More coffee. Nice and strong. It's so quiet in the diner right now. I don't know. The music isn't playing. There's no jukebox or nothing. It's so somber and depressing. 
Weird. Well, bye, Lorraine. Go chat up these motherfuckers. Hello! Dennis is being such a jerk. I'm going to blast that clown's phone with calls. I'll call him every single day. Why is his head behind the blinds? On the oh, left shoot. There. Yeah, I thought he was wearing a hat. <laughs> I mean, he might be wearing a hat. Er, let's see. Square, circle, triangle, triangle. Now you can also call Dennis every day. Square, circle, triangle, triangle. Let's call him now just to fuck with him. Dennis. Come on, Dennis. Pick up Dennis. Hello? Mel? Huh? You're not? I thought he was home, but he must still be out on that motorbike. Phone's been ringing for ages. So annoying. Who'd want to talk to him that badly? All right. You got daddy's number. Mm hmm. To the sheriff's department. All right. What time is it in game? It's like almost six. Five forty. Okay. Something. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a lot of free time soon. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's anything to do with your free time yet. So. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, sheriff's department. Well, didn't mean to get out, but I want to check this anyway. Okay, I'm heading the right way. I can head straight down and then make a right. Who am I talking to at the sheriff's oh my department? God. I accidentally read too much. Oh. Uh, this can't it read too spoiler. much. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a, a story spoiler or nothing, but it was. I. I would have been good to not to, 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 to <laughs> see what happened. What happened? All right. This is, yes, the sheriff's department. Yes. Hopefully, we get some uh, some good, good, good picks on the no with old man Perry. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you read about Old Man Perry? I read huh? about Old Man Perry a little bit. I was hoping that'd be I, a surprise. I scanned, I scanned it too. I scanned over it too quickly. I was trying not to read it every time I've been looking at the guide, and then I saw a name and a keyword, and was like, "Oh, I, I see. No wonder you wanted to unlock that." Mm-hmm. But right, you gotta talk to Morgan. It's finally time to introduce new evidence to this case. No, oh, good. Because Morgan's sure as fuck not making progress. <laughs> well, I guess Emma will just uh, return when she's done. Yeah. Or, you know, went to the big city and uh, <laughs> is never coming home. Hello, sir. So, uh, like, I've been doing your job. Why can't I talk to you? Hello, sir. Fuck. Morgan. Um. Yeah, please. There you go. Oh my god. About the necklace from the bear's body. Was it Kathy's? Oh, that. Apparently Barton gave it to Kathy. Huh? But according to Barton, someone took that necklace from Kathy. Really? I can only assume that when the bear attacked Kathy, the necklace got caught in its claws. Yeah. But if someone took it from Kathy, why not? Matthew, I understand how you feel, but Nas will be worried if you don't head home. Just spend the entire game in bed. Forget about the mystery. Is Hudson actually a closet you freak? Yes. Hudson Lane. He shouldn't look at this <laughs> too much. <laughs> Alright. Is that uh, it? Uh yep. You got you've got a few hours to goof around. However, the actual moving ground doesn't begin until night. Nope, not till 11. Unfortunately. I gotta be at the cemetery at 9. I guess that's the only timed thing left. Yep, so. for now. <sighs> Gas station time. Cthulhu for time. I was thinking about Call of Cthulhu while I was oh. getting coffee. Hmm? What is it? Is that it? That's all she had to say, I think. Oh, at the at the game store we were at earlier before recording. Yep. Uh, they probably have their generic lines right now. But hey, you never know if it's going to change. You know how to get gas, right? 
<laughs> There's Robert. It's Winona's dad. Oh, okay. It wasn't Robert. Okay. It's Robert Ryder. I gotta fix that. <laughs> Robert. No. Robert. <laughs> oh, it's Ringwald. Yeah, Robert sorry. Robert Ringwald. <laughs> that sounds kind of Robert Ryder off. sounds like a fucking action hero or a, like a gay porn star. <laughs> um, Speaking of gay celebrity, well, not exactly. Close enough. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Uh, sorry, I'm fixing my headphones. Um, have you heard the newest news about Ollie London? About what in London? Ollie London. I don't even know who Ollie you London is. You don't know is. who Ollie London is. Okay, uh, alright, I guess I gotta give you a short history lesson. I, I guess you do. Okay, Ollie London is an influencer, uh, I think from... Might be British? I don't know where they're from. I think they're British. Uh, who... Got 16 or somewhere between 16 and 18 surgeries uh, oh, wow. to become a BTS star Jimon. And then okay. uh, became a woman, transitioned to being a woman, and uh, uh, yeah, and identified as Korean. Okay. <laughs> uh, as of as recently as November 1st, they have now detransitioned. From Korean or woman? All. Okay. <laughs> they have reverted. They have reverted to uh, cis male, uh, and um, are a born again Christian. And I know they recently appeared on a uh, 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 Tucker Carlson's thing. Okay. Uh, show. Uh, like we gotta get rid of the harmful education in our school system. <laughs> they sound unstable. Possibly, it may all, and it, it, they might just be following the grift wherever it takes them. Because they, I don't think they, I know they had a lot of supporters and were probably getting funds for all their uh, activities. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't follow it too close. You just, you saying that just brought that right to the forefront of my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, get more coffee. It's like in real life. I'm drinking real coffee right now. Getting suck noises up in that microphone. Ah, there we go. That's oh, that sounds worse than suck noises. That's a different. That's what everyone sound. wanted to hear. <laughs> we, we gotta kill the. We gotta. We got. We got till nine o'clock. For we finally have breathing room, but there's nothing to do in the game as far as I know. I don't know. Um, it, I don't know if we can start it tonight or if we wait. Have to wait till. Oh, tomorrow that night. thing you can start tonight, but it. Okay, it, we're doing it. But tonight. it's between eleven. It starts at one. like 11 p.m. Yep. That's why he only sleeps for five hours, so that you can start 7 a.m. shit. Yep. After he goofing off all night. The park. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Human may not have been able to give you any breathing room in this game for most of it during their, uh, their what little bit of testing time they probably had, but uh, they sure did make sure that you could do that. Fuck yeah, man. That's like a... It's a pretty great minigame. I mean, the... It's not like it's... I don't mean it's a good minigame, but like it's a funny thing that you can do, you know? I guess I'll talk about it more when we actually get there. Yep. I'll probably, uh... Start cutting again. Unless something happens that makes us funny. Yeah, well. I'll see. Yeah, but yeah, I was thinking of Call of Cthulhu uh, earlier because no. I was thinking yes. of Cyberpunk. Yes. Because uh, we had a conversation earlier uh, when we started watching Cyberpunk, the show, and uh, I mentioned how I started approaching uh, Cyberpunk the same way that I would oh, Call yes. of Cthulhu, the, the RPG. Indeed. The same rules of engagement for myself. <laughs> which is like, if you can't kill it with martial arts or a pistol, then use explosives. Uh, don't trust anyone or anything. They're all trying to kill you. <laughs> that <laughs> probably will be the case, yes. Yeah. They, they, they all want to either like rob you or kill you, or use you as a sacrifice or something. I mean, there's no difference between cult sacrifices and a ripper dock taking out all your organs, so... <laughs> <laughs> so yes, just high explosives. That's uh, that's your answer. Yeah, it's the answer the to all problems. Answer. 
That's also the best answer to everything in the uh, Star Wars RPGs, usually. <laughs> yes. Uh, terrorism. Until you run out. Until you run out of them, at least. Yeah. Which is just make sure you stock up. Use them well. Jedi's cannot deflect flak cannons. <laughs> <laughs> This is the truth of the Star Wait. Wars universe. Um, I think they can as of the most recent film. Yeah, because they can stop lasers and shit now with their minds. They it, just get more might, and more OP. It might be a secret technique not available to most. But back uh, in D20 Star Wars, yes. when we didn't have a uh, stupid bullshit uh superpowers where they could kind of just do whatever they wanted to do with their minds uh, well you know besides pump their stats on near infinitely yeah there is uh, there you could add it you can't abuse the uh, <laughs> see that specific power you could just shoot them to death with flak cannons or flamethrowers and stuff yes when it assuming kinda... they had the right powers to abuse the system so yeah i mean there was plenty of ways of abusing the system as a jedi in those games uh but for fighting Your Jedi's... average NPC Jedi, they don't know what's going on. Yeah. They don't know how to deal with the thermal detonator. You don't even need thermal detonators. You don't have to go that far. I mean, they could use, like, force push on a thermal detonator. That's true, if they see it coming. But you know what you can't use force push on? Uh, several rounds of flak cannon coming at your face. <laughs> you might anti get one. Anti-aircraft weapons. Yeah. Yeah, just treat Jedi like a light-armored vehicle. <laughs> and then they, they won't have any, won't have any issues getting rid of them. Yeah, exactly. Here, I just kind of head over to the cemetery now. Right. It's time to wait at the cemetery like the good old goth Winona is going to become. Yeah. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to... Oh, uh, you gotta call someone. Who you calling? That's the Holdens? Damn They're it. They're never home. I can't even remember who the Holdens are. I can never remember. I don't who. know. It's Liz, right? It Liz might be Holden Liz. sounds right. That's just the teacher. Or the... Sort of the teacher. I had Honcho at the school, basically. Maybe not the principal. Yeah, they're not the, pre not. the principal. They're your, like, homeroom teacher. Matthew's homeroom teacher, right? Yeah. Okay. Kathy was in the same class? No? Maybe? Um... I, don't I know, know they didn't really know her. No, Kathy's not. Uh, she's not in a different thing. class. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm going to step outside and. Uh, oh, Kathy's like a freshman. Save. Or maybe a junior, depending, right? Because she was only like 16, wasn't she? Yeah, she's a year younger. So she's, she's, she's a. Uh, not in his. Uh, yeah. Save state. Just in case being inside of the cemetery, like, breaks the event or something. I think this is one of the ones that'll just uh, launch, but. Figure I'd come poke around here at night, and see if I can find any spoopy ghosts. <clears throat> it is sort of unfortunate in this game that you either have like downtime with nothing to do, or you're like rushing hauling ass to every event. single time. Yeah. Well, now that I know the blue stuff was, is technically optional, uh. It's a little less crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know that going in, and we're trying to get as much as we can anyway, so we're do it girl, huh? it's gonna it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little hectic. If I wanted to do a critical analysis, I'd have to like replay the game or when I'm looking at go through the guide and uh see how much of what we did was optional. Yeah. I feel like a lot of this you just wouldn't, like, naturally do. There needs to be some better, like... A little bit of sign... A little more signposting. Yeah, so, some things to kind of Like, move particularly you in the, right the second high school trip today sticks out as, like... Yeah, like, why, why would you ever go back? And also you talk to the non-portrait character and have to call the, uh... The committee. Yeah. Like, you might go back to try to deal with the, the locker again, but... Eh... It wasn't really clear after, you know, you can't get into the main building. That's where the lockers are going to be. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'll just go ask the teacher again. Only to find another teacher. It's 
Well, it looks like a, like a flower a or something. Mon. A lotus <laughs> piece. Like a flower mon. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's the sign of the. No, there's only five petals. Uh, like it's the sign of the beast. Could be a pentagram. Although a we pentagram did hear about flower. a sign of the beast. 